welcome back to Her Story. This episode is going to be pretty tough, I think, because I've gotten to the point where there's not that many missing clips. I've seen most of them, so it's getting harder and harder to find the keywords that I need to put in to actually find the new ones. It's getting a lot harder. As you can see, I'm mostly just missing little bits and pieces, except for right here, where there's a really long... a really long line of things that I'm missing. All from, I'm assuming, the same interview. Because they're probably lined back to back. Like, chronologically. Um, however, one of the first keywords that I tried off camera before recording was sex. Which apparently I've never searched for because that comes up with a ton of results. So at least I've got somewhere to start. And they do all appear to be from the same interview, which means I might be about to hit on this block here, this big one that I've been missing. Which we can actually check using the database checker. I think I've got to play it first before it updates into the database. Really? You're going to ask me about my sex life? I mean, isn't that private? Private is probably another word I should search for. Alright, so let's refresh this and let's see which one goes green. Right there. Mm, okay, so no, it's not from here. It's from up here. Are you married? How is your sex life? Alright, so she's getting really angry about being asked about her sex life, biting back at whoever's questioning her. Understandable. That would be very weird. I wouldn't want to talk about that. Yep, that's a clip right after. So, our sex life is probably fairly average for a couple after ten years of marriage. And that's probably from right here. Mm-hmm. This one's probably from right here or here. No! You're talking to the wrong person if you think I'm some kind of slut. If you think I'm the kind of person that would have had sex with all those guys. All those guys? Wait. Is this related to what Eve said about how at some point she... When she was really young? I think it was when she was like 15 or 16 or 17. Didn't she say she tried to have sex with a bunch of... Like she was really, really, really trying to have sex with a bunch of... A bunch of men, um... I forgot why she was doing that, but she was doing that and then she had to stop when she got an STD. Is this related to that? No! You're talking to the wrong person if you think I'm some kind of slut. If you think I'm the kind of person that would have had sex with all those guys. But those guys? What? Who are those guys? Also, slut is probably another keyword I should search for. And those guys. Let's try searching for that, too. Alright, so which one did I just look at? Oh, that one. Okay. Um, well, there's nine clips here, and I'm only looking at five, so let me see if I can find the rest. Uh, sex... Simon? Hmm... Not sure. I think there's one more in that series of interviews right there that I'm missing. Alright, let's try some of the other keywords. So that's sex. Let's try private. Mm. Life? Nope. Slut? Nope, just the one mention of it. Those guys. Welp, I'm at a dead end. It does say one volume missing. I mean, I'm assuming the volume missing is not actually displayed on the screen, but may... Like, displayed in this database checker. Because it's missing, but perhaps the reason I haven't found any from this long block here is maybe because that is the volume that's missing? It's possible. It's very possible. Actually, that makes the most sense, honestly. Otherwise, I feel like I would have found, you know, at least one clip from somewhere in here. Seems very unlikely. That, that probably is the missing volume. Hmm. Yep. That didn't last long. 
Like I thought, this episode is going to be hard, so I'm going to put my nose to the grindstone and start, start searching. Okay, I, I was just kind of randomly looking at clips and I found this. Yes. Yeah, it's my guitar. Which... is strange. It's my guitar. But I thought Eve was the one who played the guitar. Yes. And I believe this is supposed to be Hannah, because, I mean, she has her sleeves up, partially, and she doesn't have a tattoo. And I'm pretty sure her tattoo would be visible. Like, I'm pretty sure. Let's look at where her tattoo is. Actually, wait a minute. There's a clip from when she has her shirt up here. Yeah, look at where the tattoo is. It goes all the way down to right about here. You would absolutely see it. You would definitely be able to see her tattoo a little bit. Yes. So... Did they both have guitars, or what's going on? <sighs> Some people have suggested to me the idea that this is some sort of multiple personality disorder sort of thing, which by the way is itself, uh, I'm not, <laughs> I really, really do not know very much about this, but apparently that itself, um, the term multiple personality disorder is, I, I think, out of date. I think the modern term is disassociative, uh, what, what was it? Disassoci disassociative identity disorder, I think is the modern name for it. And apparently it's really contentious. Um, but regardless, that is something I've thought about, of course. You know, how do I know Eve and Hannah are actually different people? And having some sort of multiple personality, disassociative identity sort of thing is, it's a pretty common thing in, in kind of mysteries and stuff like that. You know, it, it's almost a trope, I guess. And this is something I've considered, but I really don't think so. One reason is simply because I think it's cheesy. Like, I really hope it's not not the case that it's some sort of multiple personality thing, because I think it's really cheesy and it's kind of played out, and I don't really want that to be what this game does, because I feel like this game is better than that. I really want it to be better than that. Uh, but the other reason is that it doesn't... I, like, I don't think it makes any sense. I really don't. I mean... <laughs> let's say that she is, like... Let's say that this is actually the same person, and she thinks she's two people. Right, she has issues with her identity, and she keeps flip-flopping between Eve and Hannah. And she's actually one person. Let's just assume that's true. How would that work? She mentioned getting a ticket, like, she mentioned, I don't remember which one, Eve or Hannah. One of them mentioned, like, getting a ticket. And not having her driver's, driver's license on her, and at some point they took a blood test, and a polygraph, and, I mean, given that, like... Given that there's a murder involved here, right? They found Simon's body. And even Hannah were both obviously under extreme suspicion. They would not have had any trouble getting warrants to take blood samples and fingerprints and any sort of evidence that they could possibly need from both of these people. Look at their licenses, birth certificates, if Eve ever actually had a birth certificate. Since she was, you know, supposedly actually thought to be dead by her mother. But they would have had no trouble taking evidence, right? So, if even Hannah were the same person, they would have known. And maybe the information that shows that they knew is maybe in the missing volume. That's, I suppose that's possible. But that would have been a known thing. It would not be that hard to figure out that they're the same person. If for no other reason, then you could never get them in the same room at the same time. Not to mention the blood samples and all that stuff. And also the tattoo. Wh what about the tattoo? One of them has a tattoo and one of them doesn't. Like, okay, it could be temporary, but if it's a temporary tattoo, then obviously she doesn't actually believe. You know, that's, that's her trying to fake it. And if she's trying to fake it by taking on and off a tattoo or something like that, then... Obviously she doesn't actually have disassociative identity disorder, right? 
I would think, unless... I, I don't know. I don't know that much about dissociative identity disorder, so perhaps faking it is... I, I don't know. I really don't think so, though. It doesn't... It doesn't seem to really fit. It just seems really implausible to me. But yeah, I do want to see them in the room at the same time. I really do. It is very strange that we haven't gotten to see that. It's very, very strange. I believe somebody mentioned that one of them has a ring and one of them does not. I think I can see a ring on her finger right now. And that's obviously got to be Hannah, since she's the one married to Simon, and Eve is not married to anybody. So I guess that's one way to figure out which one is, at least supposedly, Eve and which one is supposedly Hannah. Of course, we also know that Eve has been impersonating Hannah from the bruise. If for no other reason, from the bruise, that pretty much proves that Eve has been impersonating Hannah at least some of the time. Bruce. And yep, she definitely has a ring on her... on her left hand. Bruce. The bruise. And... Well, she's got a ring on her left hand too. And we know that this is Eve. So... I have a really fast... And plus the bruise, like, isn't that more evidence that, uh, you know, these are actually different people? The fact that the bruise disappeared within two days? Because this was from the 25th, and this is from the 27th. I really don't think it's multiple personality, or anything like that. It doesn't, it doesn't fit the tattoo, it doesn't fit the bruise, it seems very implausible. Alright, I'm gonna keep searching. Okay, I found two keywords that have one clip each. First one is killed. I don't see how it's hard. We've established I was in Glasgow when he was killed. We've spoken with the hospital. Hospital? Let me search for hospital too. Hospital. Witness, which I think I might have already searched for, but I'll try again anyway. And hold on, where was that from in the database? Okay, so just filled in a little spot. Still not touching this area here. Hello? Ask the hospital. And where was that from? Up here? Any more mentions of a witness? No. Witnesses? Wit? Alright, so here's the other keyword that I originally found that has one as well. I was thinking about her ring, you know, how sometimes she has a ring on her finger, sometimes she doesn't. No. No, he wasn't wearing his wedding ring. Hmm. Wedding? else from down here. Okay, I'm back to searching for more keywords. Okay, I found two more keywords. Uh, looks like I found one with two. Yeah, I tried searching for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and zero. And uh, most of them have results, actually. But this is the only one that has a new result. That should eliminate me as a suspect. If I was in Glasgow, can't be in two places at once. <laughs> Unless there's more than one of you. Alright, where's that from? All the way over here. And let me just double check that I searched for Glasgow, because she keeps mentioning it, and I believe I did search for it. Yeah. There's ten entries, though. So what could I attach to the end of Glasgow? Well, let's forget that for now, because actually my next one that I found was Suspect, which has a bunch of results from the same interview. Okay. So you want to eliminate me as a suspect? 
when you suspect someone of murdering their husband? Okay, so it's coming from here. So it looks like I'm missing one over here and one back here from the same interview. I want to eliminate me as a suspect. Um, I was. She keeps saying, like, I was in Glasgow. I was. Glasgow. Hmm. I already searched for a hospital, so this probably isn't going to do it. Okay, back to searching. Okay, looks like I just found one more piece of the interview. I kept searching for suspect in Glasgow, and I was just I was kind of just imagining the conversation, right? Them asking, like, is there anybody who saw you? So I tried typing that in. And then I imagined her saying something like, maybe, but... And that's what I typed in, and it seems to have worked. God. I don't know. Could be anyone. Maybe someone followed him back from the pub. But why would he let them in? Doesn't make sense. Followed. Follow. Followed. Hub. Bar. Bar. Alcohol. Beer. Bacon! That's gotta be the key, right? No. Damn it. Alright, I mashed my head against the keyboard and found four more clips. Friend has one of them. Simon's parents offered to put me up, but I don't think it would be a good idea. It would be too sad. Not right now. I'm staying at a friend's. <laughs> Staying out of friends. Can only imagine who that friend would be. Eve, her best friend for life. Oh, and where did that come from? Right there, so it just filled in a little bit of a gap. Alright. Where is is the next one? <laughs> Yes, this is it. That's the shard from the mirror. He made it himself. It was a special one-off. He made it. He decorated it. That's his thing. Where do you find it? Find it. Made it. Decorated. Nope. Okay. Hair is the next one. What kind of hairs? Oh, I forgot to check where the last clip came from. Uh, we can do that in a second. So where did this one come from? Right there. I filled in a gap and then... And this one came from... Right there, so just filling in a couple gaps. Although it looks like I'm still missing one there, one there, and maybe one there from the same interview. Alright, next one. Uh, I just did hair, right? Yeah, okay, so at least one more. Detective. Must think it's very cool that their dad is a police detective. That is not helpful at all. <laughs> My heart just sinks every time I get to the end of a clip and it doesn't give me a new keyword to search for. Alright, where did that come from? Filled in another little hole. <sighs> well, back to, back to smashing my face against the keyboard. Hmm, looks like I don't know has one clip as well. I just keep trying to think of common conversational things, like I'm just running through conversations in my mind. Like things that she might say, like, what if I, or I don't know, or can I, or I try to... <laughs> That's pretty much what I'm typing in at the moment. It seems to be moderately effective. I mean, I don't know. Something must have happened to him on his way home. He 
He could be hurt. I mean, why hasn't he phoned? I just, I don't know. Yes, that's back a while ago when she was reporting him missing. Pretending that she doesn't know what happened to him. Uh, where did that come from? Right there, so just filling in another block. Yeah, the fact that I still haven't touched anything in this block makes me think that this is the volume that's missing. Which, the volume that's missing, by the way, is, um... I believe it mentions it here. Um, I couldn't find the server with the detective's footage on. Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97. Yeah, so apparently the missing stuff is the detective's footage. I'm not really sure why the detective had his own footage. Like, I don't quite understand that. Because obviously this is footage from the interview room. And I guess that's not considered the detective's footage. So what is the detective's footage? Like, from the crime scene? Like, from the detective at the crime scene? Or something? But that wouldn't be video footage, would it? It'd be just pictures. I don't think they take video of crime scenes, do they? I don't know. Anyway, back to searching. Well, that's surprising. I, I just searched for what, and that actually came up with a new clip. It's only two seconds long. What about us? Yeah, that is, that is not helpful at all. Oh my god, I just found not a breakthrough in terms of the story. I just found a breakthrough in terms of game mechanics. I don't know if this is intended or what, but I just found something that makes something I was trying to do so much easier, and I wonder if, uh, I, I bet a lot of people actually did not discover this, and if they didn't, then I feel really bad for them. So one of the major problems, like, one of the things I've wanted to do is assemble these clips in order, and then watch them in order, um, but the only place you can really store them is in your user session here. So I've stored most of the clips that I found in my user session, so there's this massive long list. So, the thing is though, I've only actually found these clips over pretty much my entire time searching. So, you know, clips of each segment of an interview is strewn throughout this entire list here. Which means if I want to actually, and you can't move these around by the way, you can't move them. But it means if I want to actually put these things in order in this little list here, I have to scroll around to each one and individually then go put it in its place. But doing that is exceptionally hard. And the reason is because the only way you can actually move through this thing fast is by grabbing the scroll bar. Otherwise, the only other way you can move it is with the scroll wheel, which is extremely slow. Like, this is me going as fast as possible. So I was thinking that the only way to actually move stuff into its place would be to grab it and then just use the scroll wheel, like this, all the way over to where it needs to go, which was going to be agonizingly slow. So then I thought, maybe there's some other way, right? Some other way to, to drag it, like can you drag it to the side to make it scroll? Nope, you can't. And then I was thinking, maybe I can just, like, double click it to do something? Nope, I can't drag it from here? Nope. And then I was thinking, maybe I could, like, like, drag it and then click the bar? You can't. However, what I just discovered is this. What you can do, it's, it's awkward and weird, but what you can do is you can actually grab a clip, not just with left click, but with right click. So I grab the clip by holding down right click, and then it keeps the clip selected, and you can actually then grab the bar with left click. So I'm holding down both right click and left click. And then you can put, put it wherever you want. So grab with left click, hold it, grab the bar with, or sorry, grab the clip with right click, hold it, grab the bar with left click, move it, and then drop it wherever you want. That is incredibly awkward, uh -huh. completely unnecessarily cumbersome, but it actually works, and thank god it does. Otherwise, this would have been way, way, way more torturous than it already is. <sighs> I finally did it. I finally freaking did it. I seriously deserve some pats on the back and, like, somebody please hug me. Because I just spent literally an hour putting all these clips from the final interview in order. So yeah, my big plan was, okay, you know what? We've learned so much more than I knew at the beginning. 
you know, we we know so much more now than we did at the beginning when we first started searching. And we have so many clips and we've seen them so out of order. You know, what if I just assembled everything in order and just watched it? I bet I bet new stuff would come out because of the fact that we're watching them in order, so stuff is more in context and also just because we know so much more now. That was my big plan. In reality, it is so tedious to put these in order. Oh my god. I literally just spent about an hour just putting them in order for this final this final interview. This this is the latest dated one. The one with Eve, and the one that seems to be the most important one. I spent an hour putting these in order. Jesus. Seriously. I want to cry. I want to lay down and cry. I don't want to play this game anymore. This is torture. But I did it. I'm not going to do it for all of them, because if I do the rest, that's going to take like four more hours. Literally. I'm not even... That's not an exaggeration. It would take like four more hours. <sighs> so, this is the most important interview, I think. And hopefully just doing this one alone will be enough to reveal something new or, or something. I don't know. So... My brain has turned to mush. Let's just watch it right now, back to back, and hopefully my brain will, will recover in the process of watching it. But, uh, you know, I think after I'm done watching it, I think I'm going to end. Like, I, I think I'm going to call and say I'm done down here. Yeah, so let's start watching. <clears throat> uh, this is me from the future speaking here. Unfortunately, I actually have to cut the episode here because simply watching the clips alone took almost 40 minutes. And then there's quite a bit of stuff after that, so if I left everything as one episode, it would end up being incredibly, ridiculously long, like about an hour and a half. So I'm going to have to stop here. Sorry to end on a cliffhanger, but I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I hope you'll join me for the next and final episode where we take a look at all of the clips of the final interview back to back.